don't give a fuck, bitch. Let it peel. What's up, P Money Gang? It's your girl, Pula Chanel, and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, make sure you click that subscribe button so you can join the gang. And if you're already a part of the gang, definitely make sure you turn on that notification bell so that you'll be notified every time your girl uploads a video. Guess what, y'all? Not only are we at a thousand subscribers, but we're at a thousand and thirty subscribers. Like, shout out to y'all. If it wasn't for y'all, this definitely would not be possible. Thank y'all for continuing to rock with your girl. I love y'all and I fucks with y'all a long way. So yes, we finally reached a thousand subscribers. Let me see. I've been on YouTube a year. Yeah, a year. It'll be like two years and I think April or May, one of them. But we reached a thousand subscribers and I'm so excited. So today I'm going to take you guys along with me um, to grab some stuff for the new suite that I'm going to be in. Um, I have to grab some more paint and I have to grab like a floating shelf a mirror i already have the um the vanity lights so i don't have to grab that but today the dude is gonna paint the room and so yes that's moving along um as you can see i got on my tiffany for my birthday um so yes and then i have some other running around to do i need to go to alta and get me a few little items and that's about it so yes i'm taking you guys along with me so yes stay tuned okay so i just pulled up at ikea i'm about to go in here and um see about the stuff that i need i already know what i need so i'm just gonna go in here and just grab it and then um grab a few other things or see about a few other things price wise and i need to go to the fucking sprint store because Ever since I changed my number, my phone will not let me get on the internet when I'm on the phone no more. So, yes, they need to fix that because I be having stuff to do. And, you know, people be calling me all the time to talk and stuff. So, I be having stuff to do when I'm on that phone. Thank you. I be having stuff to do when I'm on that phone. So, I definitely need to go to Sprint and they need to fix the motherfucking situation. And that's just that on that. So, yes, I'm walking into Ikea now. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, y'all. We getting shit together. We is getting it together early in the morning. Early bird gets the motherfucking worm. And that's just that on that. So, I'm going to turn the camera off because it is copyright music going on around here. But, um, I'm going to show y'all, like, what I grab and stuff. So, yeah. I'll see y'all when I get in here. Okay, so... Basically, I need this floating shelf right here. It's $20. because I got to get some panties from Victoria's Secret and I got to get this um what's this called this sage they got some in um hot topic or expenses it's one of them they got some sage in there so I need to get some sage to sage that room down before the man gets started because I'm telling you it's some fucking demons in there but um yeah so I'm gonna sage the room down pray over the room and then put some blessing oil at the uh, top of the door before you come in the room so that's what i'm at the mall again i'm probably about to grab something to eat too but quick little story time so i'm on facebook or whatever so it's this little group it's this little group called the whole stl so people like posting the group and stuff so one girl posted them was like what's the craziest thing you did to your boyfriend or your ex while you was in an argument y'all my ex had me so fucked up this one day like so fucked up I straight maced his ass with some WD-40. <laughs> when I say it's so funny, because that bitch's 
skin and his eyes is on fire. But that bitch had me fucked up. I was I was spraying his car. He was like, the paint gonna peel off my car. I don't give a fuck, bitch. Let it peel. When I say that nigga had me fucked up, y'all, like, I straight was spraying his ass with that WD-40. I put that fucking little stick in there, that little red stick, and I just kept spraying his ass. When I say he was screaming, he was screaming, because that, I know his face and his eyes and that skin was on fire. That bitch learned not to play with a crazy bitch. Like, I ain't even no crazy bitch, but he had me fucked up. So, I ain't had no regular mace, so I made some mace, bitch. And I bet you he won't never play with a bitch like that again. Y'all, so look, I'm telling my homegirl the story or whatever. Instead of her telling me, you a crazy ass bitch, she gonna say, that's that nigga get, bitch ass nigga. Like, <laughs> she eggs the shit on. But anyway, yeah, I'm in this mall. I'm finna walk in now, so I'm finna take y'all along with me. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> the shop so hopefully all the demons and the messy messiness and the 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 negative shit is out the suite that I'm gonna be in um so yeah now I'm at Lowe's I gotta get another can of paint and I have to I have to get another can of paint and I have to get like a few things like a doorknob and just like little knickknacks here and there so yeah um come along with me as I uh get this shit
made it home. It is now um, 11.17. Um, I'm kind of tired, but I'm supposed to be going riding around my homegirl court. And um, tonight is... Okay, tonight at 12.12, 12, so midnight, it is the last full moon of this decade. So, 12.12 12 on 12.12, 12, and um, I was reading something on Facebook. It was saying how it's supposed to... It says the last full moon of this year on 12.12 12 is a bringer of good vibrations and self-healing. So I'm usually in the bed by this time, but we're going to stay up for this full moon or whatever. It says, um, the Gemini full moon falls on, hold on this. Okay, so it says this Gemini full moon falls on either the, either the 11th or the 12th of December, depending on your time zone, and carries strong energy. Because the full moon is in a Gemini or twins, we may experience things unfolding in pairs of twos. For example, you can be in two minds about something, meaning that you can feel torn between two decisions. During the full moon, we have the opportunity to release those things that no longer serve us. We can let go of the things that we didn't wish to take with us to the new year. The full moon, this full moon, we can also let go of any issues that were going on around the last eclipse on July 16th, either one month before or after. If there is something unresolved in your life since that period, this full moon might be per a perfect chance to get some closure. Despite the fact that the most of us are incredibly busy in December, we can try to reflect on the things that we did not want to bring into 2020. Then it was saying, um, just after the moon peaks, um, the asteroid of healing will go direct after being retrograde since July 8th, 2019. Which means that this full moon has major healing vibes. So basically, we're trying to get the vibes in, the healing vibes, the negative energy out. And basically, like, we try, we getting ready for 2020. Like, I'm doing this thing called Detox December. And basically, every day you do something to detox your life, little by little. So yes, 2020, we're ready for you. It's time, and yes, it's lit. It's definitely lit. So, um, I'll be vlogging again tomorrow. Um, the room is mostly finished at the shop. I'm excited about that. I just gotta go pick up some things so that he can start hanging the things on the wall. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, definitely make sure you turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified every time your girl uploads a video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.